you don't have to have an hour. You don't have to have a full day or a week. You can change the world in 12 minutes. Just speak your truth and it will make all time relative. This podcast encourages and empowers you to create your own unique real story, develop your own unique real statement, and discover your own unique real self. The power is yours. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Lauren Michaels Harris, previously episode 1805 of the 12 Minute Convos podcast. It's been just two years, one month, 22 days, 16 hours, and 45 minutes, plus or minus a few minutes since we last recorded that conversation. That was then. This is now. Wow. Lauren, how are you doing today? I'm awesome. How are you? I am as excellent as can be. Thanks for asking. Wow. We had a ton of fun. Wow, you've been through <laughs> some stuff. Wow, you've decided to inspire other people. How have things evolved from the last time we spoke? Man, I had no idea that it had been so long. Uh, but yeah, lots of great things. Uh, you know, uh, when, when it's as wonderful as it can be, uh, you don't keep track because where one, one blessing ends, the new blessing begins. And so mm -hmm. that's what I love about this, this life of influence is that it allows me to, you know, not watch the clock, you know, not watch uh, the pot boil, if you will, and just keep looking to the, to the prize. It's just a wonderful, wonderful thing. It is absolutely amazing. It feels as though we're in a place that's timeless. It's only when you have check-ins like from this guy in the Caribbean, right? With the yeah. time format, right? That really puts right. us in the reality of what's going on. The last time we spoke, you know, you talked about the truth has a ring. Mm -hmm. and I'd love to know how that ring, if you would, has evolved over time. Oh, you mean just time in general, not just since we last were together, right? Yeah. Well, so people can listen to the episode before. Yes. Yeah. Just like over the last couple of years. Yeah. How has okay. the truth affected you? Well, you know, it's the, it's the, let me see, I guess I could say it's the springboard that I, I jump off of into every opportunity. It is... I am the doorman, let's put it that way. I envision every opportunity that comes my way um, uh, as a door or a window, because those are the things that you can see through in order to go through, to enter into. So I open the door and I let truth go uh, in front of me. I let it go first, because when you do that, uh, what is greater than you, I believe, now walks before you has permission to stand beside you. And the best part of all is covering everything behind you because there will always be something that we could never see or have foreseen coming. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, truth, why I love it so, and it has a ring because sometimes, you know, it, there, the world that we live in may have a fog. You wake up and it's foggy. You know, you can turn on your, your spiritual fog, fog lights or whatever it is you reach for and still not be able to even see your hand in front of you. Um, and that's why, that's when rather, the truth, the ring of it, that sound, it's like a silent dog whistle for those mm -hmm. who are seeking it. Uh, you can always find your way, whether you can see it or not, uh, because the truth is a blessing. And in order to be a blessing, you have to first have seen the blessing um, and understand what it looks like, what it feels like, which means, you look at every opportunity from top to bottom, bottom to top, side to side, side to side, corner to corner, and corner to corner. Because when you do that, when you scour the entire perimeter uh, of an opportunity, in there with you will always be the truth. And that's when you know you're on the right track because the truth, the best thing about it, Angel, is that it will never change. I love that. Yeah. If it's one thing, the truth, it really stands. You know, mm -hmm. the voice, though, it seems as though the truth really is surrounded by so many other voices, Laura. And how are you able to discern which voice to listen to in the midst of everything? <laughs> Great question. Great question. Uh, because, you know, my one of my issues, uh, you know, having grown up in the foster system where there was always uncontrollable chaos, lots of din lots of uh, background noise, if you will, in my world in general. I was groomed 
by what I believe to be greater than me early inside my journey, to be able to stop, breathe, still myself. And when you do that, it doesn't matter how loud the distractions of the world are or how distracting they try to present themselves to be, the power of that distraction uh, falls in line when I, am, when I turn my frequency onto mm -hmm. the channel of truth. Truth stays right there in the middle of the number line. So I don't have to, you know, it's like back in the old days when we had to turn the, the knob of the car radio station, trying to land right on that perfect station so it could come in clear. Because if you know, if you remember those days, when you couldn't get something tuned in clearly, in most cases, I know for me personally, I would rather just turn the, the radio off than have a bunch of bleeding stations coming in and out, in and out, in and out. Um, and that's kind of how it works uh, with the ring of truth. It, it will always sit right there where you don't have to scour up and down the, 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 you know, the different stations of life. You just mm. keep it there. That's good. You know, keep it right there and it will find you even if you don't think you can find it. Because, you know, Andrew, what it does is it leads us to everything that begins with the two letters I and in. I in. That means internal, intuition, instinct, intuitiveness. All of those things are what point to our first mind, that original voice, which is truth. Um, you know, there are only two sponsoring thoughts in the, in the universe, one of love or one of fear. Mm -hmm. And if you have your setting, tuned in you wake up and you, if you just have uh you've made an agreement to subscribe to the channel known as fear that's when you're going to get all that static and bleeding in and out of different different things and uh but when you keep i only need one channel the channel of truth because that way like i said it goes through every door first and i just keep myself my eye on that prize hmm. focused on the truth um and and again you know, how many times in life, we've all done it, where we talked ourselves out of that original mindset. And then later on, we said, doggone it. Something told me I shouldn't have, or I knew better. Because we did not stick with the ring of truth. Our very first mind, I believe our very first mind is, is, is connected to the creator. And everything after that, comes secondary that's why it's called in my opinion second guessing i love the concept of the ring of truth that goes yeah. with the ring the sound as well as the sight of the shape where it comes full circle just as you explained in terms of hey when you second guess yourself how you come full circle around to that first voice right mm -hmm. i love that as well <laughs> yeah you know Actually, and I, I know you understand this in all your travels because you hear so many versions of the same story, but they all begin and end in truth because that's the only thing we actually are authorities on, that thing that we've actually lived, that place that we've actually gone, those things that we actually know, not hearsay, um, not happenstance, circumstance, not uh you know could have been might be no vagueness straight on the truth always hits its mark and so that's why i love it so it just i'll tell you what it surely when i really really embraced it all the way around it did so much for me adapting uh inside of a mindset of hands off the wheel Mm. I didn't I didn't feel like I had to live up to anything. I didn't feel like I had to guess and always you know it's it's a horrible existence when everything that comes your way you have a raised eyebrow of suspicion because you're not honed in, zoned in on what the sound of the truth is. And the thing was back in the in the day um uh, when I wasn't about sending the truth out that's what was precluding me was keeping me from knowing when the truth was coming at me or not. It's just like if you don't condition yourself to understand what the blessing looks like, 
you will never be, if you can't see a blessing, you can't be a blessing. Mm. So if I can't, if I don't know what the truth sounds like, or I play with it, bending the truth, little white lies, eh, I fudged, all these words that deceive, that make us think that it's okay. No, once you change the truth from the truth, it is no longer the truth. It is now, it has become a version of the truth, which is not the truth at all. That's when you have to start remembering what you said. The truth, you never have to remember what you said because it's never going to change. Mm. You just have to remember yourself to it. Right. Love it, love it, love it, love it. It's always a grand pleasure, my friend. Strapping you to 12 minutes is an injustice by itself. <laughs> <laughs> I love this platform of yours. I appreciate that. I appreciate that, my friend. I would like to just chip in before we run away and let you know that I do thank you for your service to humanity. Everything that you've been through, the 22, ooh, I saw a gold course. That was just amazing, right? A gold cast, my apologies. Yes, yes. That was yes. just amazing. But I want to say thanks for your service to humanity because you did not have to share what you shared. You didn't have to share your truth. You could have kept it to yourself, but in doing so, you've impacted humanity. So thank you for your service to humanity. As much as we have to run now in closing, is there yes. anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? I just want to say, you know, I'm so grateful for people like you who prove that you don't have to have, uh, you know, an hour. You don't have to have a full day or a week. You can change the world in 12 minutes. You can change the world in 12 seconds. Just speak your truth and it will make all time relative amazing audience again lauren michaels harris of course just type in the name and just start digesting content amazing story you can always listen to episode 1805 but again my friend a pleasure i treasure thank you for being on what is inspired by 12 minute convos with angel jones this podcast is produced by pod edits visit podedits.com for professional podcast publishing 